working in my style and to suddenly have to force myself into someone else's style was extremely difficult and it also made me realize that this is something that any artist would need to know how to do if they wanted to work in the system. And so I thought it would be a perfect panel to bring to uh, Comic Con. And so I asked Mark if he would do it and he's very, very shy. <laughs> And You're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Which maybe you'll find out soon enough. It's not true. And he said, absolutely. Um, so that's how this panel came to be. And I, I hope you enjoy him as much as I do. Um, so let's... What? I thought that was a nice introduction. <laughs> um, and uh, so I figure we'll get started. Um, so this is Mark McDonald, everyone. And he's going to tell you how to draw in the different studio styles. Um, he's going to be, um, like I said, there are, there, you know, you, you want to have, uh, you want to be facile and facile with technology and a good artist, but you also need to know how to adapt your style. And so he's going to talk to you about the different styles and. And, and how to approach them for the Cartoon Network, a number of dis different Disney divisions, uh, Warner Brothers Animation, DreamWorks, and Leica. And to sort of give you an idea of how to maybe readjust your eye when you're approaching your artwork. So, um, let me give you a few of his credits. Uh, Mark is an established character designer and master art instructor, teaching both professionals and enthusiasts. He's worked for Disney, Pixar, Miramax, Fox, New Line, Mattel, Sony, Legendary Pictures, and the Jim Henson Company, among many others. I'm His, old. <laughs> I cut my hair short, so you can't you know, see the grays. You don't know the meaning of old. <laughs> um, his four books include The Art and Feel of... Oh, wait, i got to do this in, in, the, in the tone. For, the art and feel, making it real. <laughs> and that's on anime. I didn't even do that well. Do I do it? Do it in the tone. You've got to do it in your tone. What? It's the art and feel of making it real. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on animation gesture drawing. He also runs classes at California Institute of the Arts in Valencia, the Animation Guild in Burbank, and through his online school, Creative Marks University. So, why don't you get started? We're awaiting your pearls of wisdom. Okay. Um, so one, one thing that I was always taught early on, or that I kind of learned was, there's two designer types. There's the designer who works in one specific style and is very well known and revered. And then there's the artist that works in production and kind of mutates himself or herself into adapting and learning each one of these different styles so you can stay into the production, hopefully well, well into the production. Because a lot of times the artists that are illustrators, which is, a, these terms are, who knows how they're defined, it's like saying gesture, I don't know what that means. So uh, usually you have the opportunity to base yourself in either a specific thing or multiple. So I definitely subscribe to multiples. And the thing about these designs up here, regardless of age, Instantly, you can pretty much tell what movies these are from, movies or television shows. So, the identification should be instant, and the iconic representation needs to be pretty spot on, so that you can see it and feel it, and wear a t-shirt, and do four sequels, and whatever you want. So, uh, an important part of understanding how to design or to look at a human based, even if it's anthropomorphic, which means an animal walking on two legs. You kind of need to know this universal person, man or woman, whatever it is. And so throughout time, everyone's been trying to figure that out. And usually the universal standard is the human form. And obviously in design it exists, it's just changed based off the audience. So one really, really important thing is uh, is understanding how many heads tall something is. So you need to know who you're talking to and who you're trying to represent 
in the artwork so they can see themselves and, and live in that fantasy, right? So obviously on the left, definitely not for kids, even though they would like to make the colors easily readable so that children can read it as well. I'm talking for this specific show. And versus on the right, definitely everything's a little bit softer and shorter, right? Those are ankle biters. So that, <laughs> sorry. So that universal man, as you can see, is important.